So if you're someone who uses a lot of leading edge on your pitch shots, uh, hit a lot of pitch shots past the hole, struggle spinning the golf ball, and occasionally struggle chunking the golf ball, this is a video for you. So the video on the left is an example of a good golfer who has been struggling 15 to 30 yards. He keeps all of the statistics, all of the shots gained, and this is the area where he's struggling the most. Uh, we're gonna see at address here a lot of forward shaft lean. His left hand is in front of the golf ball, and we'll see at impact, he's gonna return with even more forward shaft lean. So we've got a 54 degree wedge that he's de-lofted considerably. So his launch is low, not a ton of spin, but there's just, there's no way to control distance with a shot like this because we're putting so much energy into the golf ball. We see post impact, not a lot of connection, a lot of, you know, kind of uh, missequenced body and arm action, just hard to, hard to feel impact. So we can see here on the video on the right, let's go over to the video on the right and clear everything up. You can see that we've moved his hands back a little bit, still, still in front of the golf ball. You know, his left hand is still just a little bit past the golf ball. But moving it back has exposed a little bit of bounce. One, one sort of intricate movement here. I want you to pay attention to his head. So he moved his handle back. We moved his weight back a little bit. He's, he's kind of more balanced on both feet. This is a move that my instructor talked to me a lot about. I think he heard it from Stan Utley. But we need to feel like our left ear falls towards the target in the backswing. This, this is what allows our divot to still feel past the golf ball uh, whenever we're utilizing more bounce. You're gonna see in the backswing here, he's gonna have much less wrist hinge, much less wrist hinge than he did on his first shot, which is going to feel like his club head is past his hands at impact, even though we'll see here at impact, his hands are still past the club head, but we have a much more straight line nature between his left arm and the shaft. So we go back to impact here. We see how much hands forward he is. On the shots he was hitting on the video on the right, they were higher with a lot more spin off an even tighter lie. None of his shots went past the hole, which I think for good players is, is a big key. But if we talk about the feels that this player had, when he was describing what he felt, he says arms felt so rigid and he felt like there was no way that this action looked good. When we see all kinds of connection right there, he said, this must look really weird, but we go into the follow through and we look as it's kind of a very one piece follow through where there's, there's a lot of moving parts on the video on the left. You know, there's a lot of forward shaft lean, a lot of D loft, and the ball's just kind of jumping off the club face. So when we use leading edge, and sometimes we have to, sometimes we have a ball sitting down, we got to get the club head underneath the golf ball. Uh, we got to understand that we're D lofting and the golf ball is going to want to come out fast. When we use bounce, it's usually in a situation where the golf ball is either kind of sitting up on a tee in the rough, you know, it's sitting high in the rough. Maybe it's a tight fairway shot, but you, you've you got enough give underneath the soil that you can use the bounce of the club and bounce it off the turf. But really the, the technique on the right is how we hit soft, no energy, spinny wedge shots versus the technique on the left, which is gonna be kind of dig it out of a situation Maybe you've got a lot of green to work with and you want to see the ball come off a little hotter. It's not necessarily the wrong technique, but situationally, we're probably going to use the technique on the right more often than the technique on the left. Um, if you have any questions as to when should I use more bounce or how do I know if I need to be using a more bounce technique wedge action, Leave me a comment in the comment section and we can start a dialogue. If you ever want uh, video analysis, uh, you can go to my website, davidurdygolf.com with instructions on how to submit a video. 
Uh, but this is very important to teach and very important to understand what kind of wedge player you are. You know, we want to be able to utilize the bounce because we're going to have more options around the green. Now we can use the leading edge sometimes, but we need to know what those situations are. I hope you found this video helpful and thanks for watching.